Hey everybody, welcome back to my Project 13. Thanks for coming on by and checking out this video. Got the Google Pixel Fold at 1080p 60 frames per second. So please let me know how everything looks, how everything sounds. And uh, you can let me know how the stability does in this video as well. Um, out about uh, doing some shopping for some short sleeve shirts. It's gotten harder and harder to uh, buy a short sleeve shirt that I like from the old school. The sleeves today on a short sleeve shirt are just way too short, man. They come like way up here. And I like a longer short sleeve shirt, button up, and I have to have two pockets. I can't have one pocket. Has to be symmetrical in design. Uh, I don't know why, but that's just, that's just me. So if it has one pocket, it's not gonna be in my closet. I'm not gonna spend my hard earned money on uh, that type of short sleeve shirt. And again, it's gotta have a longer sleeve. Yeah, it's the it's it's uh, the old school, the old school style. It's like t-shirts, man. It's gotta be 100% cotton. White or black. I don't like any of uh, that stretchy type of material, man. I just, I just don't. Bought me some MTEs, was at the uh, Troutdale, uh, location van store there that carries a lot of shoes uh, on discount uh, as far as uh, it's basically an outlet store is what I'm trying to get at uh, anyway so 110 regular online got them for 80 bucks man Some MTE's got that extra uh, sole at the bottom of the shoe itself uh, really nice looking vans uh, I'm, I'm all about vans man they're comfortable my favorite area on my Google Pixel Fold is the inner display when it comes to watching movies and videos. Wow. I got to tell you, man, it's just, uh, um, just an amazing uh, experience utilizing that amount of display when taking in that type of content. I'm not a gamer, so I'm, but I'm sure for a lot of you, gaming on that inner display is amazing. Really a great experience being able to go from the larger inner display to the smaller cover display. I uh, love the width of that display. Being, you know, in the morning when I wake up and I plug, start getting ready for my day, I check my email there. I check, uh, you know, uh, any feedback for the, for the videos that I put up. You know, different areas that I go into really quickly, but as time goes on, I start floating into that to that inner display um, and utilizing more when it comes to uh, multitasking uh, just really enjoying the form factor the usability as far as multitasking with the inner display uh, amazing not not all apps are going to take advantage of that full display some of them you have to rotate the device right or left to get to take advantage of the full display now i know there are some of you out there doing well for 1800 bucks why do i need to rotate my phone to take advantage of that you know i'm, I'm sure google's going to uh, send out an update to fix some of that that's also a developer uh uh thing it's not it's not going to be all about Google on um, wh why some of these apps don't take advantage of that full inner display it's, you got to put some of the blame on the developer they gotta uh, they got to get their apps updated so they can take advantage of, of that 7.6 inch display and I know some of you think well why don't you just get a tablet because I don't like tablets I don't like laptops I don't like computers even though I have computers to store all my files that's mainly what they're for they're they're just there to to save everything that I've I've uh, saved over the years with all the different smartphones that I've had, uh, you know whether it's music files, movie files, video files, picture files. It's those. That's mainly what my computers are about. Um, but for me, having a smartphone that gives me a two-in-one, I can open that up into a tablet form and enjoy my media intake, and I can close it up and have a smartphone. And the width, all, almost that 16 by nine aspect ratio, like the old school, um, it's 17 by five nine is what the uh, aspect ratio is. Uh, but it's pretty darn close to 16 by nine. Um, and I love the feel of that in my hand. 
Now with a, a, a thicker case, dual layer case that's a little more rugged, it's gonna be a little bit more girthy. Uh, there are cases you can buy that are a little bit thinner, but with most of those cases, you're not gonna get that hinge protection. And that's something that you're gonna have to decide on as far as whether you drop your devices a lot or not on what you're gonna sport on your Google Pixel Fold. Why watch a movie or video on the cover display? Which, it's there, so you can do that. But why not take advantage of that huge, huge inner display? Uh, for those of you that are veterans when it comes to the fold, uh, may the fold be with you all. Uh, me, I'm a rookie, uh, and um, I'm starting to learn more and more about uh, why a lot of you really dig this type of form factor and I'm sure that the Z Fold is that much more amazing when it comes to productivity the tools that Samson adds to uh, their uh, Z Fold uh, series um, I, I honestly just by having that device in hand at Best Buy I uh, it felt good it looks cool but I don't know if I would like the height and the slimmer cover display. Uh, the, the Google Pixel Fold feels more like a smartphone. Uh, and uh, yeah, it's gonna be a little bit thicker than a normal smartphone, but it just feels more natural. And uh, it's, it's, it's everything that I could imagine if Nexus had put out a foldable, when, when, when we had Nexus, this is, to me, with the width, the size, the form factor, and and the performance and the functionality, this is what I could have imagined a Nexus foldable being. With that, I'm going to end the video. Appreciate all of you. God bless you all. Stay safe and healthy. Peace. I'm out.